When it comes to large-scale merger acquisitions and divestitures, manual review will not meet the deadline. This client had just under 20,000 documents for review stored in a common review platform. Hundreds of contractors, both onshore and offshore, had access to these documents when we're manually going through them to analyze them from a number of nuanced topics. The client called SEAL's Director of Legal Partnerships on a Friday night and asked if SEAL could help this review. Would SEAL be able to automate the over 40 topics that were for review within this tight timeline, which was 14 days? The director got the analytics production group involved and we were able to triage, ask questions about the specific topics the reviewers were answering and determined that we could, with SEAL, answer over 40 of those questions for the 20,000 documents. Our process was to analyze the subtopics and do what we call a stoplight analysis. Green are topics that we expect to fully or substantially automate through the use of SEAL's analytics policies. Yellow are topics we can partially automate. While we may not be able to automate nuanced answers for all questions, the yellow can identify the general content or the lack thereof. Lastly, red means that the answer cannot be automated at all. This is generally due to handwritten dates, handwritten check marks, and bullets. While we were running our analysis, our tech team was also ingesting the 20,000 documents into SEAL and running the pre-developed policies and models. Once we analyzed those results, our team found that we were able to automate over 90% of the decisions. So in this population, that was over 700,000 answers, and it didn't stop there. SEAL integrated seamlessly with the review platform sending those partially automated documents to the review team, which could quickly identify the relevant content, code an answer, and meet the deadline. In the end, we were able to code and automate nearly 700,000 decisions within the two-week timeframe, and the client was able to meet their M&A deadline.